Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Manisha Buddhiraja, your Marrow Faculty for ENT and today with us is Dr. Shakib who has uh, secured an amazing score of 228 in the recently had FMG. So we are so happy for you, congratulations and we are really privileged to have you here. Uh, so Thank Dr. you, Shakib, Thank you so much. tell us about you and tell us how you are feeling right now. Were you expecting this? No, ma'am, actually. Uh, so first I will say about myself. Uh, my name is uh, Mohammad Shakib and I have graduated from Asian Medical Institute, Kyrgyzstan. And I graduated in this uh, June 2023 and this was my very first attempt. And uh, yeah, I have scored a score of 228 and I'm very happy, ma'am. I, I can't explain how how I am <laughs> or what I'm feeling, ma'am. So this was your first attempt. Uh, when actually yes, did you start preparing and what was your source for preparation? Uh, Ma'am, uh, this was my first attempt, as I told. So when I was in my university, I was preparing from Marrow. Uh, I was a Plan C user, and uh, I have watched almost like all the main videos of the subjects. And I was also doing uh, most of the questions also along with the videos. And I used to read the textbooks also. After once I complete the subject or the topics, I used to read uh, the standard textbooks, Ma'am. So how did you like? You started in your first year, sir, with Marrow. No, Ma'am. Actually. When I was in first year, I was not aware of like how the exam will be. I just know that there will be an exam called FMG. That's it. And uh, like we had uh, basic subjects and languages in first year. So I was not very serious about that. Next, I was studying those subjects, but not into this core preparation of FMG exams. And then uh, after the second year, when the COVID hit, that's the time when I listen about Marrow because that's the time when this all the online stuff came. And uh, then I took the plan subscription, a uh, plan C subscription of Marrow. And um, then I started studying and the first subject, very first subject that I started was ENT and I'm so grateful and thankful and that th I'm giving an interview to you, ma'am, like very <laughs> coincident. It is yes, actually a privilege for us when you do good, you know, we feel so proud and we feel that all that we have worked really hard for has now given the result. It is so nice. So how you started in your third year? Do, did you finish all your third okay. year subjects? Please tell us, uh, walk us through your journey, how you finished the videos, mm -hmm. and how you made your notes. Did you make your notes or like uh, tell us what our students, our listeners should also do? Uh, Ma'am, when I was in third year, actually I started with ENT, I told, and uh, I will first watch all the videos and then I will go through the standard textbooks and uh, then uh, I will just, if I have time, actually I say my juniors also, I, one mistake I think I have done is like, I have not done the sole preparation from the MCQs, but I tried to solve MCQs, and but that was not regular, I was like more into videos and those conceptual uh, things and then into textbooks, so I watch all the main videos and prepare from that and revise from that only. And uh, as far as notes, uh, I have marrow notes and uh, I usually annotate in that one. And sometimes I feel like some things I will miss out and I will just keep that in some another notebook. I have one other notebook, say 20th notebook, but I will write in that one. And uh, I'll sometimes go through that one also. Ma so your third year subjects you finished in your third year. Did it help yes, you in your university exams there also? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Actually, for my university exam also, I have revised the same notes and I'm so happy that I have received a gold medal for this MBBS in my ex university exam. Wow, wow. In which subjects? Like, we have, like, uh, for MBBS, they are uh, awarding this gold medal. So I got MBBS gold medal. Oh, wow, wow. Congratulations. That's so nice. So uh, you have watched all the videos of Maro? Uh, not ma all, ma'am, but... Uh, Almost like uh, for major subjects, I have watched all the videos and uh, some topics I have specially watched, like some topics I think I have watched twice or thrice because I felt, okay, I need to listen this more. And, uh, but yeah, most of the videos, man. So who was your favorite uh, faculty for, from Marrow? Well, I think like everybody usually say the first one is like special, <laughs> but <laughs> as a, for me, like I watched first year videos, so obviously you are one of them. Then I liked uh, Sakshi Arora ma'am and uh, Rakesh Nair, of course, and Rohan Kandrilwal sir. Then like so many ma'am, I, I have to say everybody's name, I think like uh, Abbas sir, like all faculties ma'am, but yeah, to name this. So you could finish your pre-final subjects in your pre-final year or did you do also the final year subjects in your pre-final? Yes, ma'am. Actually, uh, I started with this ENT and then I went back to like physiology, 
like i was doing a mix because i have to cover up the previous subjects also but i have read them textbooks so i just go through the videos once and i will read notes so i went to physiology then i came to patho then i went to medicine so i thought i it will be helpful for me to connect those links so i just have that kind of preparation and, and yeah i tried to complete all my textbooks textbooks did you read for all the subjects yes ma'am like for uh, standard textbooks i have read like starting from anatomy to medicine but medicine we know that nobody can complete like i have read uh, davidson mainly and for few systems like pulmonology and cardiovascular i have read harrisons but other system i have read from davidson's yes that i have tried maximum to cover up from standard textbook i think that is really an inspiration for all our students and uh, dr shakib was also telling me that he used to coordinate he used to study with his friends in india please tell yes, us about that uh so ma'am uh, i have few friends who are studying in india in indian medical colleges here in kerala so uh, when they will have university exams then uh, we will just have a conference call and uh, they will say about the pattern of exams that they had actually we had a viva system and they had this written type of exam essay type of questions and all so they will say that they have the first question will be 10 marks essay question and uh, they will divide the topics okay these are the most important essays like that so we'll, we are four uh, four friends and we will divide the topics so i will also take up a topic with them and i will also go through the textbooks and materials that they are reading like how they want to answer and i will also read and i will also explain one i will take one topic and i will also explain like each one will take will be taking one one topics and they will be explaining so yeah that's how it also helped me a lot because i got to know like which are the topics which is important in the exams in india also because i listen like the most the questions also framed from those things Uh, so were you always having this in your mind that you have to clear the fmg exam or were you just like wanting to clear your concepts how did you because you were reading the textbooks actually, also yeah, yeah ma'am actually uh, to be frank when i was in my mbbs stage i have not thought about fmg like obviously i i in my mind there was that i want to clear the fmg exam but i was not so serious or thinking about the fmg exam rather i was focusing on my concepts and uh, actually want to learn the subject so i just learned the subjects that was how it mainly was because because i want to learn the subject and what is it what the conditions and after all we have to become doctor so that was my passion i just read the concepts and all that things and later when i came back here then i started the preparation for fmg as such so dr shakib told is telling the juniors that yes don't do one mistake that the mcqs also Yes, yes, don't please. leave it for the last moment. You have to do it when yes, you do your modules yeah. itself. Yes. So yes, okay, so tell I'm us sure. that uh, since after you came back here, that was in June, right? Yeah. So after your after your MBBS, so you had your six yes, months. So how did you plan yes, in those six months for your? That was your main focus study for FMG. Yes, please. Because you had already yes, seen all the videos earlier. You had made your notes yes, also. You you made your notes or you did uh, you followed the yes. manual notes. ma'am uh, i have uh, for few subjects i have printed notes like for medicine and everything because it's very huge to make and for some subjects i have made my own hand written notes ma'am so how was your planning for those 6 months which actually focused on the fmg exam because uh, you had already this six months, yes, notes yes so tell us yes, how you revised for this 6 months i was actually just revising the notes i had and uh, like some concepts which i felt okay i am weak at or some topics which i had made like when we are practicing mcqs i told like after coming here only i started practicing mcqs so once i started uh, giving this mock test and everything then i find some topics like which are frequently getting mistake like uh, i am not getting it correct then i went back to those videos i'll watch them once and uh, when i was practicing questions and revising the notes man like i tried to revise as much as possible because all everybody all the seniors everybody said like the revision is the key and one more thing is like consistency so that two are the things for this exam what i feel so how many times could you revise everything ma'am uh, after coming here i would say like uh, three to four times i have read all my notes and i have read uh, like some subjects i have read there only like when i was in kyrgyzstan i have read like two times like three times some subjects and after coming here i have read all subjects three to four times Three to four times, and how many times did yes, you do the MCQs from the question bank? MC, MCQs, ma'am. Uh, like uh, in whichever uh, 
the question banks which is showing like i have the less percentage say like 30 percentage 50 percentage so i'll just reset that one and uh, like i will go through that again yeah so did you use the custom feature also yes ma'am uh, custom yes ma'am custom model uh, feature was very helpful like uh, i have uh, one of my friend who was also preparing for fmg and he was in a different town so we used to have this custom module thing like uh, he will make a custom module of say 100 question 50 questions and he will send me the code and i will do and then i will make evening uh, i will make 50 questions 100 questions and i will send it to him and then we will see like who like where we made mistakes and we helped each other like some questions which i made wrong was made correct by him so he will say no this is like this this is how you have to approach this question and yeah, that also was very helpful man so you could finish the entire marrow question question bank no ma'am not the entire as it so was but i have tried maximum to cover and uh, also the gts which was there i have tried to do okay so when did you start giving gts uh, my first gt i was given uh, i think in august by the uh, end of august and uh, then after that i was giving gt like say 10 days cap i was doing gts and i have given a total of six gts from arrow okay and was your rank going up every time the score was it improving every time no, no. or was it stagnating also it, it, it was not always going up like graph it was like up and down like uh, my first score was i remember is 208 in my first gt then it came to 190 like it was going down then i thought like why is it going down but still i will say like myself okay after this exam you have to get 150 so don't think about it just keep moving then i had like it was up and down actually and but my final gt score was like good so you could identify whatever your weaker topics were by giving the mcqs by yes, doing the mcqs Absolutely. and by doing the gts also and then you worked on yes, those the subjects you yes ma'am yes ma'am actually uh, once i give the gt like in marrow we have the feature of uh, showing different subject wise and all those so i will go through which is uh, my weak subject which which is my weak uh, topic and then i'll go through it and then i will clarify okay where i'm missing or where i'm lacking and then i'll try to rectify that one and it usually take me time also to review gt because i know so many people give gt and don't review that one but that's a big mistake i review the gt maybe it will take me like say five hours maybe more than the exam time but still i'll go through my notes also okay which topic it was there and i'll review that because it's also like a sort of passive revision so yeah so uh, could you also bookmark the did you also bookmark yes, the MCQ? yes ma'am i use that why those bookmarks uh, actually we have like this uh, three four kind of this uh, symbols so i'll i had my own plate i keep okay this one is easy one i just give uh, two three read and i can get it some is like okay this i have to read the explanation well so i'll bookmark it in different one so that's how we, i use the bookmark feature man. did you and also i have tried maximum mini test Which also one? did you get the mini test yes ma'am. actually uh, in mini test i have given mostly the image based and also some of the mini tests, not every subjects, but yeah, I have tried maximum. And uh, what was your FMG national mock uh, score? Uh, Ma'am, <laughs> like I told, it's like coincidence that I'm giving you interview. I think like life is so many, I have so many coincidences. So the my mark in my uh, marrow uh, national test was 229 and <laughs> my score is 228. So, so it's it like almost, almost not, it's real to the exam. Yeah, yes, and that is what we usually see in most of the uh, students. Their main, uh, the mock exam and the main exam rank yes, as well as the marks is very, very same, very similar. Yes, ma'am. So, how, uh, were you uh, panicking on the day of the exam? Like, how did you maintain your calm and your composure during the exam? Uh, about the, the exam day, it's, like, it's very stressful actually, like at that time, at the point of time. So the day before exam, I slept early. Like I was sleeping like say 9, 9.30 because we have to wake up early and go to the exam center and all those stuff. So in uh, my friends, I was living with a bunch of friends and they, they were like motivating me. They were like, no, we will give this exam and we'll see what happens. We have sleep so far. So they were giving me like constant motivation. Like you have to do like, we will do well like that. Like we were saying, we have to give the positive affirmations. So we were saying like, okay, we will do this. Like 
if we didn't we'll say like if we didn't get then who will get this who will clear this exam we used to say that so yes ma'am like the friends the people around you that thing and also the teachers parents everybody's blessing prayers and so dr shakib if you have to tell your juniors about how they should prepare and how they should go about it in just two or three lines how will you tell them what will you tell them so ma'am uh, i will say them start early uh, try to complete your videos along with mcqs and uh, also uh, try to uh, revise them and try to do uh, try to give a read of standard textbooks that's the main thing that's what i have done yes and one more thing dr shakib told me that uh, just before the exams maybe on around 15 days 10 days before the exam mm -hmm. he just felt as if it was just not possible and he felt like giving yes, up so yes please tell us what made you going that time also Uh, ma'am, uh, it was the time like I felt like whatever I am reading, it's not going into my head. My head is like fully empty. I have nothing in my head. That sort of thinking. Then uh, the place I am studying in my library, in front of me, there is one poster which is kept there. It's having one quote from Thomas Alva Edison saying that most of the people will give up when it's near to the end point. So don't give up like that. So I will read that sometimes. Okay, I don't have to give up. It's like matter of ten, fifteen days more, and I will see. So. that's what kept me going towards the end so uh, what will be the subject that you will be opting for in pg uh, internal medicine is what is i am interested in and i hope i'll be getting that one soon yes so all the wishes from our side and we also really hope and pray that you will get internal medicine and we'll be again interviewing you that time again we are Hopefully, really ma'am Uh, yes yes we are expecting that you we are going to interview again and all the best and thank you so much thank you, thank you so much mamit pleasure is all mine ma'am god bless you beta thank you ma'am so okay dr shakib that was so nice you really inspired all the students i think it is not only for the fmg students for the rest of the students also i think reading textbooks and starting early yes, and studying not only for some exam but for clearing some yes, concept so yes nice. ma'am yes. very nice i'm really proud of you really all the thank best thank you ma'am thank you so much ma'am